one that got away, part two. Going into adulthood is already hard enough, but a toxic friend can make it all the worse. You've known him since you were both little. He's smooth, charming, charismatic, and can easily get anyone he wants, which, unfortunately, has included you for some time. He stepped on your heart for the last time, and you cut him off, though it seems like he hasn't really gotten the message. A scene opens back in your apartment. It's been a week or so since you cut him out of your life. You haven't heard a peep, as you expected, until your phone rings. Hey, cutie. Yo, I got a question about the algebra homework. Can I come over for some coffee? Maybe some butt grabs? You hang up on him. He calls back. Rude? Come on, cutie. Are you really going to be like this? I've got so much homework that needs doing, and all these bimbos and himbos are sexy, but they don't have your brains. Again, you hang up. Apparently, this time he gets the message. You head out to grab breakfast. Hi there. I can take you up here. A new barista beckons you over, smiling sweetly. (laughs) You must be another regular. I've had ten people be surprised they hired someone new. Guess the place had been a bit understaffed, huh? (laughs) So, uh, what can I get for you, beautiful? He immediately turns red, stammering and sputtering. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't... I'm sorry. That was so inappropriate of me. <sighs> Thank you. I, I'm new to the city, and this kind of job is is kind of keeping me, you know, homed. <laughs> what can I get you? You order, and the new barista nods, bustling around and making your drink. I'm really glad everyone's been so nice here. Where I'm from is super ritzy, so people are just assholes by default. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Huh? My name tag. Oh, it's upside down, isn't it? (laughs) Here we go. Now I'm just Blake instead of... He puts on his best Aldrich horror voice. You two share a laugh as he hands you your drink and rings you up. Hey, um, I was wondering if uh, a large frame settles next to you and a familiar voice rumbles. Yeah, back off, nerd. You don't got a chance in hell with this one. So go on back to peddling your bean water. Maybe duck into the freezer to cool off, hmm? Uh, do you know this guy? They do. I'm their best friend if you catch my drift. You see Blake deflate a bit, but he maintains his friendly smile. I see. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't realize they were spoken for already. Oh, you're not? Um... Look, kid, all right? The name's Tyson Sterling, kind of a big name around these parts, and not someone you want to get on the bad side of. Blake cocks his head to the side, perplexed. Sorry, who? You wish you could have snapped a picture of the momentary embarrassment and frustration on Tyson's face. Hmm. Oh, of course. I can grab you lemonade and a turkey club. One second. He goes back to bustling while Tyson turns to you. Ordering my favorites, huh? It's a good start for you to apologize for hanging up on me earlier. What's your problem, huh? (sighs) What exactly was different from this birthday than every other one? I cleared my schedule just to entertain you for a few hours, which I thought was quite considerate of me, really. Of course, I knew you'd be here. You've been dragging me here for two years now for study dates. Study dates, rather. Coffee fucking sucks. But it was always cute watching you munch on an eclair while grumbling about how lazy I was. (laughs) Oh, I see what this is. You're trying to make me jealous, huh? That's cute. You're so cute, baby. Acting like you have any power in this scenario. 
Blake returns and rings you up again, looking between the two of you. Here you go. Um, oh, I can grab more ice, sure. Uh, let me just get the lid off, and then I'll grab the scooper. You wait for Blake to turn before handing, before taking the sandwich, cramming it down the lemonade cup, then placing it in Tyson's hand as he looks at you confused, before slapping it upwards, coating him in a soggy sandwich and lemonade. At least you're playing nice. No, what the fuck are you... Dude, you just stuffed the whole sandwich in the drink. Are you crazy? And now they're handing it to me. Fucking great. You've lost your... God, jeez, frickin' lemonade in the lemonade in the eyes. He stumbles away as you turn back to Blake and beckon him to lean over the counter a bit. He does so, eyes shooting up as you kiss him. Oh dear, that's going to be a nightmare to clean up. No, no, it's okay. It seems like he was bothering you. Hmm. Lean forward. Uh, okay, why? Mm. To your surprise, Blake kisses you back with confidence, not fitting his demeanor. As he pulls back, he smiles bashfully. So, I know that was just to piss him off, and judging by the way he's looking at me, the lemonade either got in there or it worked. But, uh, can I be st still be cheeky as sin and, I don't know, ask you out i bet that'd really make him mad <laughs> really wow i uh i i wasn't expecting someone as pretty you, as you to give me a shot but i really appreciate it and um be careful around that guy all right if he was waiting around for you to show up just because you hung up on him you assure blake you'll be fine and head out with your drink Tyson calls you to a few calls to you a few times, but you ignore him. To be continued. Okay, so that is the uh, end of part two there. Um, thank you so much off the bat to it's Esme Jones. You're probably borderline getting tired of me giving you these uh, shout outs at the end of the videos, but obviously I appreciate it. And thank you so much for the writing and allowing me to take these uh, opportunities to do a little bit of a performance of them. Um, this one is a little bit different and uh, kind of incorporating another character. Hopefully it sounded at least different enough that you can differentiate between uh, the, for lack of a better term, a little bit of a, a douchebag here with Tyson and, uh, you know, with a little bit more of a timid, um, kind sort of friendly, uh, Blake. So I hope that came across well. Thank you so much to the writer. Um, any feedback that you may have, please don't hesitate to reach out, send it my way. Always looking to improve on these things. Um, and any way that, you know, can, make the listening experience better please don't hesitate to, to mention it so um yeah without going too long-winded after this um i appreciate you listening thanks so much this is the second part in this uh in the series so if you missed the first one it is on the channel a few days back so check that out if you want some more context into this tyson person but otherwise i will see you in the next one as i continue on putting these videos out and uh, trying to get better at this process. There was a, there was a couple of little mix ups in that script, but full disclosure, I don't, uh, I don't read, like I might read the script a little bit ahead, but otherwise I just kind of try to do the best that I can uh, in the moment. So it's uh, equal parts, you know, reading aloud, but adding the inflection and uh, accents and, different voices and mannerisms or whatever pretty much all at the same time so um yeah bear with that a little bit if you will and uh, i appreciate you listening and tuning in so thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day peace